Discraft's Great Lakes Open is this weekend, and let's dive into those survivor picks. First up, Adam Hammes. He has finished in the top seven the last three years at this event. Outside of the European Open, he has hit the survivor line of top 15, his last three Elite Series events. Next up, big name on tour, Ezra Adderhold. He has been having a sneaky good tour this year and finished 10th and 11th the last two years at this event. Both would have made survivor leagues in the past, and he has actually made the 15, top 15 mark in five of the last seven Elite Series events. I have full confidence Ezra is going to have be in primed position to make the cut this year again. Now, we are getting down to the end of the year. I've got two names that are going to be a little bit more risky, down the list a little bit, but if you're running out of those big names, these are two guys that I think you can fill in that will have a good shot at making that top 15. First up, we've got Eric Oakley. Now, like I said, these are risky, but Oakley has been in the top 25 all three times that he's played this event. Now, he's only made the top 15 once, but he's been in striking distance. He hasn't had the great greatest year overall, but we all know how skilled he is. Lastly, we've got Corey Ellis. Now, he is currently top 15 in Tour Series points, and he's been top 15 the last two years at this event. He has been great this year, finishing top 20 in five of the last seven Elite Series events as well always in striking distance to make that survivor league cut. Corey Ellis, another great guy that you can throw in there that you probably haven't used this year. Lastly, we are getting down to the end of the tour with only six events left. So if you've been following along and using some of those more risky guys and have some of the bigger names left, like Calvin Heimberg, Ricky Wysocki, Paul McBeth, if you've got some of those guys left, now is the time to start filtering them in and using them because you can't use them when the elite, when the season's over. Make sure to use those big name guys. So if you've got them, use them. That is it for today's video. Uh, have a great time watching. Let me know down in the comments, who are you picking? Thank you for giving me a watch. And until next time, see you out there on the course.